Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly. Before we even get into the revenue numbers and all that, I would like to provide a little story on Twitter. A couple of days back, in fact, March 28th, which is a day after, I believe, I think it's a day after, yes, Acheron's release, I saw this tweet and it said, this person rolled 100 Acheron light cones to show the love towards Acheron. When I saw that tweet, first I thought, Gotcha gamer brain rot, fringe as hell. But then I also said, oh, Honkai Star Rail is definitely doing record breaking numbers this month and probably the following month as well. <laughs> Let me show you this, this tweet real quick. This is the guy and uh, that's his tag, I believe. This is uh, a person over on Billy Billy. Bro really went and bought all those Acheron light cones and he ain't gonna get no cutty from her. That's, that's nasty work, bro. <laughs> like, my man, you could have just gave a hundred of those light cones to a hundred different people. But this video is not about him. All right, yeah, it is what it is. Bro could do what he wants to do with his money. But I knew from that tweet alone that Akron was going to put nine crimson knot stacks on the gotcha revenue charts and break the gotcha revenue meta. <laughs> And that's what exactly, exactly what happened. But before we get into that, I also want to say I want to I want to look at some of the games that I'm interested in and seeing how they're performing. Like uh, AFK Journey just dropped March 27th of this month, and it's it should be on the charts. I also want to check out Honkai Impact Third. I believe it got its revamp, right? It got its revamp, so I want to see how that's performing. Pretty much, we'll go over all the other gotcha games once we get done commenting on the revenue sales of Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact like we normally do. By the way, the Genshin Impact hate watchers that love watching my content, they're going to be malding about this uh, this video. Look out for them in the comment section. It's going to be hilarious because I haven't updated a gotcha revenue video since like Honkai Star Rail was on top. And there's been some months where Genshin Impact was number one and I never updated a video. <laughs> I never updated a video, guys. Hey, fuck them. You know what's going to happen? If Arlick Chino somehow pulls it off and, and passes up Honkai Star Rail this month, which honestly, she's she's looking really cool. She looks very cool. She looks sick. I've seen her shit all over Twitter. Um, if she does, I'm not going to update it. That <laughs> I'm not going to update it that month. <laughs> now, I probably will. If it's crazy, to be fair, it's a little bit of troll in the Genshin stance because I just can't resist. And it's a little bit of like doing the gotcha revenue update every single month just gets a little tedious for, for me. Um, but if it's like record breaking numbers, if Arlick Chino somehow does some crazy numbers, we'll update you on that too. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these charts. And there's a little bit of context I want to provide with a number of these things too. Honkai Star Rail made $145 million between global and China. By the way, they've updated the uh the tower sensory tower where now they show China's revenue inside of the sensory tower too. So this is really cool. Bro, look at China, uh, 99 million. I want y'all to keep in mind that Acheron's banner was March 27th. That was the end of the month. So this, this revenue madness is still ongoing in the month of April. Now, granted, a big portion of that revenue increase does occur in those first couple of days, but it continues to trickle on in until the banner's over with. I've seen the sales continue to come in. So I think I might've been right. We gonna see, but I think I might have been right. I think Acheron actually is going to outsell Sela, which brings me to those nerds way back when they were trying to say they weren't gonna pull on her banner and they weren't gonna do this and this and that. Oh, I don't like her kit design. I don't like how she looks. Shut the fuck up. The numbers don't lie. You lying sack of shits. Oh, the numbers don't lie. I told y'all. I fucking told y'all that when Acheron drops, these numbers were going to show you that no matter how much you try to say about this fucking character aesthetic, if the character goes hard gameplay wise and those animations are cray cray, you still going to fold and pull for it. And look at it. You can lie all you want in the comment section. And it ain't going to convince me, brother. You definitely pulled on her. The numbers show it. Anyways, I want to say this. Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail made over 200 million dollars in the month of march that is nasty work i don't even know how genshin impact is still performing this well yeah I, I went and googled what banners were ongoing right now and it's apparently this girl which i heard she's not the best so that's that's a negative right 
Then they got Arataki Ito, a Geo character. Like Geo characters that just aren't, Geo isn't popular. Furthermore, nobody cares about Ito anymore, right? From from my understanding. So it's like a very lukewarm banner that not a lot of people care about. Yet somehow, Genshin Impact, I'm gonna give them the credit, still brought in 44 million in China and then brought in another 24 million global. Bro, 68 million with a lukewarm banner is nasty work. It is. But 100 million... <laughs> in china outperforming both genshin in china and global is even more nasty work guys i'll tell you right now raiden is the ultimate trump card she's what you she's what you do when you got nothing else to do right when all else fails raiden will not fail if zenless zone zero drops and flops massively this is free game hoyoverse which you already know of course you do because it's been working right if it ain't broke don't fix it just throw in another version of Raiden. Now, I don't know what you're going to name her because you got Raiden May, Raiden A, E I, Raiden I. I don't know. Raiden Zeros is that probably, but that's what you, you don't have to figure that out on your own. But when Zen the Zone Zero drops, should you ever be down in the slumps with that game? And that game is still looking a little sus. Raiden will definitely save the day every single time. Like this is nasty work. Now, anniversary sales, pop up refresh, a lot of this factors in. But I guarantee you a significant portion of it is not just top up refresh, but it's also because Acheron is just that bitch. She slashed the meta. All right. She the ulted and domain expansion, the entire revenue charge got 145 million. I went back to look at the most like recent sales, right? Like a month ago, Honkai Star was at 58 million in China. Genshin Impact was at 58 million in China. Guys, this is doubling that shit, which is nuts. I went back four months ago to when Farina released 54 million on Genshin Impact. Acheron shit on Farina. Like, what the hell, bro? Like, and then I went back a couple of more months just to see, like, what were we doing? Like, just a little bit, a little bit ago, six months ago. 40 million, 36 million. We were hovering around this mark, the 40, 36 million mark for a while globally. I just, I just need to emphasize how crazy this shit is. 99 million, four days of Acheron's banner in the month of March. That means probably another 30 million, 40 million are gonna happen in April too for Acheron sales. Like, so this is why you always ask for more in these Hoyoverse games. Never think they don't have enough money. They do. 90% of families around the world will never see this money in a lifetime of work. So. You can never ask for much. Every single character in the Honkai Star Rail universe, their animations should look like Acheron's. Acheron should not be the only exception. And anytime I call out these animations being lazy on certain characters and you defend them, you're a dumb fuck. Okay? Stay in the back with Amber and let daddy work. Because trust me, I know these things quite well. With that being said, I look forward to Genshin Impact's Arlick Chino uh, banner performance. If she does like go crazy, if she does anything like this in the realms of this, I'll be updating that because it'll just be something interesting to talk about. Do I think she's going to uh, like do like Acheron numbers? Absolutely not. I don't. Don't get me wrong. Arlie Chino looks sick, but Raiden is Raiden. Uh, in my personal opinion, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will get on here, make the video and say, damn, but well, that was a miss. <laughs> but I don't think she's going to do these kind of numbers also because the top of refresh does Definitely reflect in those numbers. That's it. Best of luck to Arlick Chino Banner. Actually, what the hell am I saying? Fuck no. I, I hope that banner does dog shit. All right, moving on. Let's let's take a look at some of the other games that performed this month. Again, I'm looking forward to seeing how AFK Journey did because I actually like the game, despite a bunch of people getting sponsorships. And you know, I, I don't blame y'all for being pessimistic and skeptical of uh, sponsorships, like basically uh, uh, making people say some shit they don't really mean about a game. You, you get, you get, you know how the game works. I actually genuinely like AFK Journey. I'm a big TFT fan from League of Legends, right? Auto chess, right? Put them out on the field, watch them do their thing, watch the little fancy animations. That's pretty much AFK Journey, but inside of an RPG dynamic with a build system. I like the game a lot. I genuinely do. Uh, just, just throwing that out there. But let's look at this. Tac Op Symphony. Ain't... <laughs> Bro, is that a skull sign? <laughs> is that a skull sign? <laughs> They put a skull sign down there, bro. That is Dedge. 
okay so there's global there's japan and then there's china just so you don't you guys don't know your flags this is japan this is china so in global tack op is dead which is crazy because the anime was actually quite decent that i watched all right devil may cry peak of combat i heard this was one of the worst gacha games to release of all time which is really disappointing because i'm a massive dmc fan i've played dmc one through four through five actually damn five of them really did come out huh that's crazy yeah i've played all the devil may cries uh i love dante i love virgil fuck nero bro's corny I cannot believe they butchered the series. Such a goaded series. It is what it is, though. All these games look like they're on life support down here. Guys, I make more money in a month than some of these games down here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, let's continue on. Review Starlight. I've seen this game at the top of the charts before. This is global. I wonder how it's doing in Japan, because I think this is a, a popular game for Japan, maybe. But this is horrible. I remember seeing this game at the top of the charts. Like, guys, anything that's performing in the hundred thousands, that's pretty bad. Like all these games are, are doing pretty horrible. They're all on life support. Octopath Traveler. I'll be honest with you. Octopath Traveler is one of my favorite turn based games of all time. It's a very beautiful turn based game with good storytelling. Uh, I don't know why it makes money because you buy the game, you play the game, you beat the game, you move on. I never understood how it's always making money, but this is the global sales. And I think any dollar this game makes is a W in my book because you're going to buy it and then you're going to play through it. It's a complete, it's a wholesale game. So that confuses me. AFK Arena going down in sales in Japan. Yeah, AFK Journey just came out. So I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Oh, here goes Revue Starlight in Japan, 160,000. Okay. Uh, Don Machi, and let's see if we can scroll up, find some of Tower of Fantasy on life support still $220,000 in a month. Yeah, that's not that good, man. That game used to be like high up in performance. And now, geez, bro, they did just drop that Gundam update, too. I just did a sponsor for them not too long ago. Uh, and that's just in China, though. OK, well, that's just in China. Uh, we'll, see, we'll, we'll be on the lookout for the global performance as well. One point, I feel like this game's pr is really what tanked it more than anything else you can say what you want about tower fantasy but the games always had a pretty bad pr um from the communities that played the, that knew about the company beforehand and i feel like that affects their ability to make a comeback in my personal opinion no break containment zone global is three hundred thousand. that's pretty bad punishing gray raven three hundred thousand. i think it's been suffering for a bit but this is just japan and it went up in money, so that's a good thing. Mobile Suit Gundam. I remember checking this game out. It, it literally looked like the most dog shit game. It looked like a Super Nintendo game. I don't understand how this game's making any money. It must be getting purely carried by, by Gundam nerds, <laughs> for sure. I don't even think they're having a good time playing the game. They're just excited to be playing with mechs. We got uh, Reverse 1999 in Japan alone. Uh, it's making 600000 That's not bad. That's actually not bad. Like if you start getting over the 500,000 mark, that's not too bad. But it's still not good either. It's still pretty bad. <laughs> Don't make cry peak of combat global actually making money. Pure fandom carry. No no doubt about it. Tower of Fantasy global 700,000. Plus another 300 down here somewhere, right? Almost 1 million. Okay, TOF. Hey, do your thing then, king. Hey man, do your thing then, king. Reverse 1999 again for 800,000. So 800,000 global, and then in Japan, 600, 1.4 million for a reverse. Not bad. Reverse has been holding its own. I'll tell you what, that game has good storytelling for people who have patience and, and paying attention to the story. For the time that I've played it and experienced it, every event, and uh, the characters have had quite a beautiful way of introducing the story and lore. That's what that game really, I think that's what, what's carrying Reverse 1999. In terms of like combat, it's fun for uh, initially, and then the day-to-day the -day grind becomes a little bit mundane, but the storytelling is definitely what's gonna be carrying Reverse 1999 from the experience that I've shared with the game. Uh, Limbus Company, uh, that rings a bell, but I don't know. I think I watched the trailer on that and I just can't remember. This looks pretty cool though. Snowbreak containment zone in China, 825,000. Wait, bro, that's way better than they're doing. Uh, was it global? 300,000. And then up here, oh, over a million. Not bad. If it's over a million, man, that's not, it's not bad. 
Punishing Great Raven, 900,000 global plus what it did down there. Dude, Punishing Great Raven then stepped up. I wonder if that's due to the hype of Weathering Waves or due to getting new updates and characters. You guys, PGR fans, eh, I don't have to tell y'all. Y'all are going to comment down below and, and, and make sure I'm aware of that regardless. But yeah, do your thing, Kings, Queens. Do your thing. This light, 900,000 global. Okay, Mobile Suit Gundam, Octopath Traveler, 900,000 in Japan. Bro, what are y'all buying in microtransactions in Octopath Traveler? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. But okay, that's full. Hatsune Miku Global. This is a Japan game. 900,000. I guarantee it's doing better in Japan. Honkai Impact the third. Rippled in revenue in Japan. And that's a Chinese game. Honkai Impact the Third is a Chinese game, and it's it just made a million in Japan. Yeah, that's not bad. That's due to the revamp. That's that's the new and improved version, I believe. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis getting getting carried by by Rebirth uh, for sure. Azir Lane. All I know about this game is there's a, a character in there with ridiculously massive tits that need to be nerfed. Honkai Impact the Third Global 1.3 mil. 2.3 million if you throw in Japan. How what about China? Holy shit, Honkai making a comeback. Okay. Hey, good for y'all. I know y'all are happy to see them numbers. Good for y'all. Y'all be annoying as shit sometimes, but you know what? I'm glad your series is getting the love that y'all feel it deserves. Good for you. Epic 7. Okay. Blue Archive. I see these names all the time. Now we're getting into the familiarity of the uh, of the gotchas. One Piece Treasure Cruise. Fandom carry 100%. Punishing Great Raven in China. 1.6 mil. 2.7 mil. What the fuck, bro? Punishing Great Raven. Bro, it was in like the hundred thousands for a while, I want to say. Damn. Good on y'all, man. I think between the other... Where's the other one at? Dude, 1 million here. Okay, 4 million probably amongst the other one too. Damn. Okay, PGR, do your thing, Kings. Queens, AFK Arena. How the hell is AFK Arena still popping off with Journey being out? I guess excitement. That's so weird. I don't understand that dynamic. The the, the other game, people go back to play it, even though the, the Journey's out. Like, bro, what? Why, man, to each his own. Blue Archive fell off a fucking mountain global. Uh, Tower of God is holding its own. Fate Grand Order, that's global. I think it's more popular in Japan, I believe. And then Honkai Impact Third. Oh, yeah, we already looked at this, right? Wait, did we already look at this? Two million? Holy shit. I think we already looked at that. Still, though, I'm blown away by Honkai Impact the Third's performance. Yeah, we did. We already looked at that. Okay, AFK Journey. There we go. 2.2 million. Now that's crazy because AFK Journey's only been out for Mar like March 27th, so four days. In four days, AFK Journey has already generated 2.2 million. That's actually very impressive, bro. Guys, I'm telling you, you know, I mean, y'all should know I'm too damn based to be telling lies. Y'all know me. If I if, if I don't like something, I'm just gonna come out and say it. This game goes hard as shit. If you're like, if you're a content creator, don't play it for content. Just play it on your on your phone or your iPad when you're watching anime and hanging out. This shit goes so hard. I've been playing it every night without fail for my own like in comfort and enjoyment. And it's been a great game. But again, I like TFT, so I am a bit biased. I love auto chess. I love putting uh, characters out on the field and watching them do the thing. I told, I told, I spoke about that earlier. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins, okay, not doing too bad. Dislight, I didn't even know people still played this. Fell off a mountain a bit. Reverse 1999 made eight fucking million dollars. What? Oh, so that's where it's getting its bread from. China. Damn, it fell off a mountain, but still, I didn't know it was capable of pulling these kind of numbers. So it makes sense though. China loves storytelling way more than, than Westerners love storytelling in these games. I think that makes perfect sense. I'm still blown away by that though. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Masters, Epic Seven. I don't really know about these games. I didn't even know this was, I didn't even know there was a new Pokemon game. What the hell? Fire Emblem Heroes, don't know what that's about. Uh, I, I do like Fire Emblem though. Doken Battle like just never leaves. Doken Battle is definitely carried by DBZ fans, try, uh, like try hard fans. Cause I don't under, dude, 33 million last month. Holy fuck. Blue Archive. 
Summoner's War. This game is like an immovable wall. It always stays like amongst its same revenue. Like its fan base is the most based fan base I've ever seen. Nikkei, heard nothing but good things about its fan base. It, it honestly just looks like a waifu collector to me. You could say its story is good. I wouldn't know. I'd never played it. And then finally, we come back up here to where we were initially. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, you guys comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. About it. Wrap it up. Peace, love, and happiness. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.